Okay, before we start dividing, we just want to make sure that the calculator is in the condition to do that. With everything clear, the carriage all the way over at the high setting, the highest uh, power of 10, and the reversing switch in the normal position with the crank down. Okay. Next, we'll put the dividend into the settings register. Three, five, six. Okay. Then, load it in to the result register. 1356, 1356. And finally, before starting the division process, we need to get rid of this little one here. So we clear just that register like that. Okay, now we're all ready. The next thing we do is put the divisor into the settings register. The divisor's 25, and the key here is to put that over on the left-hand side. See where the 13 is here? You want to put the 25 right underneath it, just like on paper. Got that? Finally, we need to put the calculator into the mode to do the subtractions and shifts. So, we put the reversing switch down, which means the counter register will count subtractions, and then pull up on the crank to do subtractions, and we'll start in. Okay, well, we already can see that 13 is less than 25. So, if we try to subtract, it's gonna go negative, so we're already gonna shift down one. Now we have 135 is greater than 25, so we will crank it down until it becomes less than 25. 10, all right. We're done with that one. Now we shift another, and now we're at 106 versus 25. So now we have to crank it down till it's less than 25 again. There, six. Okay, then we're gonna crank her down again. Another shift. Now we have 60 is greater than 25. Boom, we have 10, that's less than 25. So now we go down another power of 10. Whoop, all zeros. It came out even, there's no remainder. So, what's our quotient? Five, four, two, four, uh, you know, thereabouts. Well, 1500 divided by 25 is gonna be about 50. So we know this is a 54.24 quotient.